hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to do cash rounding in odoo version 14 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition which i am accessing from my local instance so in this database i have already installed the accounting module so here you can see the invoicing is coming up so in some cases when we are submitting the invoice to a customer or when we are collecting the money from the customer we have to collect the rounded figure suppose if i go to the invoicing app and if i create a customer invoice so i'll be creating a new customer invoice so if i choose my customer germany furniture and i have to choose gs3 treatment as i have installed the indian localization so we have just selected the customer and if I choose any of the product from the list, you can see the amount, the subtotal or the total amount that we have to collect from the customer after applying the tax is 840.42 paise. So this much amount we have to collect from the customer. So in most companies, they will be ignoring the parts after the decimal. They just need to collect 840 only from the customer. So let's see how we can round this figure to 840 using the default functionalities in Odoo. So for that purpose, we have to activate the cash rounding from the accounting settings. So right now, if I save this invoice, you can see the amount coming is 840.42. So let's see how we can enable the cash rounding in the database. So I'll be going into the configuration and then to the settings so i'll be going into the settings and if i scroll down you can see we have the option called cash rounding define the smallest coinage of the currency used to pay by cash so i'll be enabling this option and i'll be clicking on the save button so once you've done that you will be having a menu called cash rounding here okay. so either you can define cash rounding from here or you can access it from here you have the button here you can simply click on here you will be redirected to the same screen that you will be accessing from here so here you have to define a cash rounding so i'll be giving the name as a round off in the name field i'll be giving the name as round off so i'll be giving the name as a round off and in the rounding precision i'll be setting it as one so rounding precision is set to one and here we have two option whether we have to modify the tax amount or adding a new line so i'll be choosing add a rounding line now then you have to set the profit and loss account so i'll be choosing the account cash difference loss in the both fields or you can define a new account for round off and set it here so the rounding method i'll be choosing it as down whether it has to round it up or round it down i'll be choosing rounded down which will be best for the customer so i have set created a new cash rounding called round off rounding precision is set to one rounding strategy is adding rounding line accounts are set rounding method is down and i'll be clicking on the save button now i'll be going into the same invoice that we have already created so here you can see this is the invoice that we have already <coughs> created and you can see right now the total amount is 840.42 and inside the other info we have cash rounding method so currently you can see the total is coming as 840.42 and inside the other info if i choose the cash rounding that is round off and if we check the invoice line you can see a new line has been added called round off which is of minus 0.42 and the total gets decreased to 840 so once we apply the cash rounding you can see the amount has been coming into the rounded figure and if i click on save you can see the total amount that we have to collect from the customer is 840 and if i print the invoice also you can see this information so in the in invoice also we can see the round off of 0.42 has been given and the total amount that customer has to pay is 840 rupees so this is how you can do the cash rounding in odoo and if you try to create a new invoice and if you need to set a cash rounding method by default you can simply choose here and what you can do is that you can go to the settings and just activate the developer mode so suppose I'll be activating the developer mode in the database and if I comes here into the invoice 
you can see if I try to open a new invoice you can see by default it will not be coming so there might be some case you need to set it as default one so if you need to set this as a default one you can select the value here and click on debugger button at the top of right of the screen and click on set defaults from here you can see you can set this rounding method as rounding method as default for all users and click on save default so again when you're creating invoice this method will be taken as a default value for that field so here you can see cash rounding is round off and if i select my customer assure interior and if i add couple of products into the order line or invoice line you can see the amount will be coming as a rounded figure and we will have a round off line which will be recalculating based on the new adding you can see the value will be getting changed on adding new products and if we don't need a new line here what we can do is that you can click and open this one and change this method to modify tax amount so right now it is adding a new line called rounding line and if you don't want a new line you can set it as modify tax amount click on save button and here you can see the line has been got removed what it will do is that it will be modifying the tax amount so here you can see if you go to the general item screen you can see the rounding will be applied on the tax amount and there will be no new lines here it will be modifying the tax amount for each lines so this is how you can set the rounding method in Odoo so simply what you have to do is that you have to go to the settings activate the cash rounding from the settings so if i scroll down here you can see under the customer invoice you have the option called cash rounding activate this and set a cash rounding method so this is all about how to set cash rounding method in Odoo. so if you have any doubts or queries or feedbacks don't hesitate to reach out or comment it out you can reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com so that's all about this video have a nice day thank you